headed to the top, bro. Mark my word. Shake it, baby. Walk in the spot again, naked, baby. Got Jenny and Trojo, go sip it, baby. She giving me brain, yeah, the head is crazy. Shake it, baby. Walk in the spot again, naked, baby. Got Jenny and Trojo, go sip it, baby. She giving me brain, yeah, the head is crazy. It's your boy, Betty Ben, so I'm saying. I appreciate y'all, man. By the time I'm recording this video, I'm at 188 views on my first vid and 47 subscribers. We headed to the top, bro. Mark my word. All my guys told me to start up this YouTube. And I mess with this YouTube, y'all show me love, bro. I really appreciate y'all, bro. Anything, anything helps, bro. Like, comment, subscribe, whatever, or all, all of the above, bro. We going up 2021, son. Mark my words, bro. If your girl, if your girl take and she quaking. Yeah. <laughs> you made it up. But for me, yo, good looking for two of days. I hope you like this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Give me some, yeah, give me some ideas, man. I'll be running out of ideas. I got two story times getting readied up for y'all and stuff. But yeah, just give me some ideas, bro. We gonna go from there, son. Up top, son. Good looking out, man. Oh yeah, come on, I'm on, I'm on that. I'm on you like white on rice. 80s, 70s, 60s, whatever. Y'all paved the way. Y'all was here first. But why are people toxic, bro? They think that shit cute. And the gen, and this generation, bro, they made it the norm, and it's sad. But I should not be going on social media for me. And you're asking for a toxic relationship. You're asking for a whole brand new relationship, and you want it to be toxic. You want it to start off as toxic, that. That shit don't make no sense, bro. Gangsta, that shit is sad, bro. Why would you normalize being toxic, bro? Do y'all understand that shit ain't even good for your health, bro? You wanna be you wanna be fighting with your significant other every day, beating the ish out of each other, bro? You wanna be beating the shit out of each other, bro? Gangsta, that, that's cute, bro. Gangsta, you wanna be beating the shit out of each other, bro? God, having a baby, killing the baby and all, all that. Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Hold, wait, first of all, you're not gonna speed past that like you didn't just say what you just said. You need to dead that, bro. And they, everybody dead think that shit is cute, bro. And I'm not gonna say it's female, bro, because it's males too, bro. Like, yo, why is this, uh, why is this bitch so crazy? Or oh, why is this nigga so crazy? You made them that way, bro. The next question. Favorite color? Blue all day, man. Come on, look at the stars, huh? I'll never forget that when I was younger, somebody had dad asking me that, and I'm like, yo, what? Like, when I was like four or something, I think I remember this. I did, yeah, I do remember this. I was like four or five, bro. Somebody's like, hey, what is your favorite color? I ain't never think about it until they asked me the question. I had to really think about it. Like, yo, I ain't gonna front. I just looked up at the sky and like that shit was just so fascinating, fascinating to me. And like, I was just like, yo, my favorite color blue. And like, ever since then, like, my favorite color just always been blue. But some blue I'm on, I'm throwing it on. You ain't stuff. I can't throw it on myself. If I can't throw it on myself, I'm throwing it on the play or whatever in, in the game, video game. It's something gotta be blue or that video game, but I'm not. For me, would I like to be famous? Hell no. Nah. <laughs> Too much. I'll take the brand. Y'all can keep the fame, but I don't want to be famous, bro. They people do too much when you famous, bro, and they just think you got it. You can be getting robbed blind by your manager, bro. Oh yeah, man. yeah, Brady got it. He famous, you know. He, the the stalkers. I can't believe some of the stuff people be going through. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. I probably when I was younger, probably be a little dread, a little jelly, like, uh, man, this person. Complain about being famous. I wish I was famous. Bro, you got some people that would stalk you down. You don't even know them from a hole in the wall, bro. That shit's scary as hell. I don't want to be famous. Gangsta. That shit, mm mm, not for me. Oh, yeah. Have I ever cried at a film? Yeah, I'll keep it a band. I'll never forget it. The Biggie movie, when he died, when he, uh, at the end of stuff, when he had, uh, died, when, I guess when they pulled up on him at the light, it was just showing, like, all the females in his life, like the, uh, baby moms, love interests, and, uh, love interest and his mom and that shit just made me sad because i like my for me i was raised by a single mom for me and i like always just had i had more females in my life than males yeah and they always just sad as hell bro it's mad sad but they i know they actors but that that shit made me sad as hell boy i just that shit made me sit down right there on that bus i was heading to georgia or heading back to heading back to my hometown from georgia bro and i was just like yo of females i had a lot of females in my life for me family wise friend wise and all that and that shit just made me like sit down and appreciate them bro i just i texted all of them right there i was right next to my mom's i just hugged my mom's i was just like that shit made me sad because i'm like yo people love you and all that they're gonna say they're they gonna do this they're gonna do that they're gonna show their true colors but it, it, it's really it's sad but it's really true but they really love you till you dead and gone bro and that shit just that shit make me sad right now i came from front ninth grade I was like 14 at the time, and um, it was um, my girlfriend at the time. We was watching a movie. Even like, all right, this is like, this is calm. It is not like for me. All right, I was watching a movie, and I forgot what the movie was about. And 
my brother had died that same year. Rest in peace to him. For me, he died that same year, and I, it, remind, it reminded me of him, bro. And that shit made me sad. I'll keep it a band. That's dead. Those that only two movies that just made me cry. I bet. Uh, next question: Do you think you deserve the stuff you deserved in life? Uh, yeah, I'm finna swear, man. You going crazy, nigga? Wish that nigga would have skipped me and pop off. Nigga, I would have put the beats on that nigga. Do I think I deserve the stuff I went through in life? Bro, this one down. I, I was like, nah, no, honestly, it could have been worse, but I'm. I'm still alive, bro, and I'm grateful, bro. It could have, it could have really been worse, but that's how I got it. That's how I think about. That's how I think about it, bro. It really could have been worse, but I can sit here and be sad, and all that other. My fault. I can sit here and be sad, and he, you know, like. I don't think I deserve none of the stuff I went through in life, bro. But it could have been worse. So much stuff going on, going around for people all over the earth, bro. Some people don't even know how they gonna eat tonight. They don't know where they are gonna sleep, bro. I'm glad to still be here, boy. Gangster, bro. Said uh, same a baby's getting born right now and somebody's dying right now, but it really could have been worse. But I'm glad to be here. I don't think I deserve none of the stuff I went through. But then again, who does, bro? Probably getting the dog shit slapped out of them right now. They ain't even do nothing. They don't even know what's going on. I don't think I deserve none of that stuff. But it mean obviously I'm built for it. Fact, and I tell that to the viewers too. You 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 ain't deserve none of the shit you got going on, bro. But obviously, if you still here, you obviously built for it. And I want you to keep building on that, bro. Mm, has anybody left out my life? Oh my gosh, don't even get me started. If you left, don't come back. I don't care if you're watching this video. Good luck if I throw it in, but yeah. But don't even hit me up. It's so over. If you left, stay where you at. Move how they want to move at the end of the day, and everything happened for a reason. So if you left, stay where you at, gangsta. Come on. I even know I wrote that down. People go do what they want to do at the end of the day, regardless. If you left, if you left me, if you left out my life, bro, you felt like that was the right to sit at the time. Do you, boy? No, do you, dickhead? Do I care about people's feelings? I used to heavy, bro. Used to care about people feeling so much. I don't even care about my own, but all that shit. I don't care about nobody feelings. I don't care how you feel, bro. You're not putting no bread in my pocket, bro. So I don't care how you feel, bro. Gangster. Ain't, they ain't care about my feelings. Why should I care about your shit? Gangster, but ain't nothing to talk about. You don't care about my feelings. Why should I care about yours, bro? You move, you move, you move how you was moving, bro. Uh, next question. Three words that describe me. Dependable, hard work. I am every day, all day, 25 eight smack. Gangster, if I'm, right, if I'm really rocking with you, for me, you could depend on me. I'll put food on the plate, but I ain't gonna feed it to you, gangster. A lot of people in my life is to me. They gonna put the, they gonna put the food on your plate. They gonna cook the dinner and all that. But I'm not gonna, ooh, here comes the airplane. I'm not gonna do none of that. But I feel like I work hard. Anybody that know me, anybody that know 2019, 2018, Brady for me, for me, Mr. Benzo. You know, the the me now and the me before, bro, two different people, gangsta, smack. My NYC people's know the vibe. Maybe somebody, if I got views from my other places, you you know what I mean by smack, man. Do I have a problem with being faithful? No. If I feel like, and I already know, <laughs> anybody that know, you go have your little nigga on shit to say. If I feel like you keep it a band, bro, and I feel like, I'm not saying like this is uh, build a significant other workshop, but yo, Somebody going to do what they want to do at the end of the day regardless. I, I learned that the hard way. I'm, I'm, a person is going to do what they want to do at the end of the day regardless, bro. If I feel like you keeping it a band with me at all times, bro, and I could trust you, even though it's going to take a lot, even though I might say I trust you, for me? Like, yeah, I don't got no problem being faithful. If shorty hold it down, for me? I'm, I, I'm straight, for me, but, bro. And you got a good significant other, but they make you want to do better. That's what I, that's what I, that's what I mean by what I'm saying, bro. Why do people cheat? Shit. <laughs> I don't know. People, people just, people cheat for, I, I'd probably say for the satisfaction. Probably makes you feel good about yourself. I'm, I'm not talking from my point of view, because I don't cheat. People do it just to do it. Some people get bored fast. Some people like to try out new things. Everybody different, bro. That's the part that don't make no sense to me. If you're not happy where you at, bro, why be with that person? Um, next question. Your yeah, biggest fears? I don't want to speak on it. I feel like I'm jinxing myself low key. I know it's unavoidable and all that. Oh, like, I just look. It's unavoidable and all that stuff, but my biggest fear, bro, losing my moms, bro. I'm scared, bro. Keep every uh, everything else, but I don't, I don't care about none of that, bro. I don't want to lose my moms, bro. And I'm, I, and I'm not disrespecting nobody's religion, but I, we, we, well, I, I'm gonna speak on, I ain't gonna say we and all that. I really don't know what happens when you die. Much religions and all that other stuff. I believe in God all the way, but you really don't know what happens when you die, bro. But once you gone, you gone, bro. And that's, that is the scariest ish to me, bro. Boom, you already know my fault. Y'all had a little problem and shit, but it's, I'm in a line 
to get in the line for the drive through bro. Summer or winter person. Most definitely a summer person, bro. I was born in July. No homo. Like, I'd rather be sweating my balls off than shiver me timbers, bro. What did he say? Hey. Oh. Hate when it's cold, bro. I hate that shit. I'm not coming outside, bro. I don't give a fuck what you got. Favorite, favorite. You, um, you had, you, you, what? Fast food restaurant, Chick-fil-A, bro. What? What? It's not even a question. I love Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A crack my soul. That Chick-fil-A slap it, literally. Do I believe in true love? Mm. I believe in, I believe true love is real. But, like, in a sense, bro. Like, I'll keep it a band, bro. Like, that true love shit. I don't know. Like, it depends on what your definition of true love is. Like, what is really true love, bro? How do you know a person love is true? Because you got niggas that, you got people, my bad. You got people that fell in love, bro. They've been together since they're like 16, 17. All they know is each other, bro. And that's quote unquote true love for me. But then y'all dead, then y'all dead break up. I don't know what you thinking right now. You could comment, oh yeah, man, go video, go video, buddy. Uh, go video in your head. You be like, oh, I dead hate this nigga. I don't believe true love is real, bro. That, sh that shit fool. Does my life have meaning? Yes, it does. I didn't think it did before, but now that I got older and I understand more, and I'm able to do more stuff for myself, I feel like my life got meaning. I got people that depend on me, for me. They just, but they not like, oh, like they on my back and I'm carrying them. They just like, they got hope in me, bro. And that, that shit mean a lot to me. Like my moms, and you got other people. 20 for me, 2021, 20, I did a lot of waking up, bro. And I feel like I got a lot more to do, bro. So my life, yes, my life do have meaning. Oh, if you had, if I had the chance to preview how I die, would I take it? Hell nah. What? What type of question is that? Well, if you preview how you die, they say just show me drowning. I ain't never gonna go near water again. Even the next Michael Phelps or something, something like that, Phil, if you get what I'm saying, bro. I, I would not want to preview how I die, boy, gang stuff. Hey, you, you seen how you die? You just, you shortening your lifespan just by, just by you seeing how you die, if you get what I'm saying. Like, like, oh, it'll be by, from a friend. I might not trust nobody ever again, and I might just, I'll make myself panic. And slowly kill myself in the process. I could have been set to die when I'm 40. Now I'm set to die when I'm uh, 22 now. Just because I'm worrying and oh, I can't trust nobody. I, I, I don't want to see how I die.